Hey everyone, this is Mike from Mike's Do Yourself. Today I want to show you how to install grab bars on porcelain tile in the shower. Now these type of grab bars, I have uh, they're stainless steel, and this is an 18 inch, and then I have a 24 inch uh, stainless steel grab bar, and I'm putting them into porcelain tile. And so for the first step, what you want to do is to make sure that there's a stud or make sure there's not a stud behind this area that you're going to be installing your grab bar into. So what I did, I went ahead and used the stud finder and you can use any kind of stud finder here. Just go up on your drywall above your tile. And so this area right here is where the edge of the stud is, right behind the tile here. So the type of fastener that I'm using, it's called uh, Winget, and they are for going behind these tiles with no studs. So I'm going to work on this one first, and then we'll go ahead and do the same thing on the, the top one up here. So since the stud was over here, I didn't want to put the grab bar so close that you would be able to open and close this door. And just to make it easier so you're not reaching right here where, where the hinge is at. So I moved it out about two inches away from that stud location. And for this type of installation, for those wingets, you need at least one inch from the center point of your install clearance uh, before you get to that stud. So I have maybe about two inches here and about two inches down at the bottom here. So I have a two inch clearance, so I'm okay there. So what I did, I'll go ahead and take these covers off and they're just pushed on. So you just need to use something, just tap them off and line up wherever the location looks good to you or whatever location you want. level. Make sure you get it nice and level. Okay, that looks level. And you can mark any two holes you want. Uh, it's going to have a spacer or a cushion in there and that'll show you where to drill your three quarter inch holes at. So I went ahead and marked here, 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 and here, so these on the sides are the holes that I marked. And so if you were going directly into the studs, you want to line it up so both holes are on the studs. So it would be, you know, a top one here, maybe a top one here. And it would be more difficult, you know, doing it this way because that grab bar would be right in the way. So your installation may be only to where you have to go away from the studs. So we'll work on this one first. You see the two holes that I made right here. So this is the pad that comes with the kit. Let me just pop these holes out. Those holes out like that, and it's going to look just like that. Because, as you can see, with what you're going to pop in there, these are going to attach onto here and they will push into there, and then so these will be flush with the wall. So, we'll go ahead and Take this off. And line it up the best you can. And that's 
just sort of center it between these holes that you've made Do the best you can there. Okay, for porcelain tile, what I use is a three-quarter diamond tip hole saw, as you can see right there. I'll just get it wet a little bit, and I'll get these wet a little bit. And you want to start at a 45. Now this is for porcelain tile. So I'll just get it started. Now this whole saw will work with porcelain or ceramic tiles, so that's what's nice about these diamond tip uh, hole saws. I'm about a quarter of the way in, just keeping everything wet. See that I've got this set already in. It's just a matter of pushing them in, putting them together. And like I said, there was nothing behind here. It just felt like it because of the backer board and all the layers, the drywall and all the layers back there. It felt like there was uh, two by fours. So I'll show you this one. Uh, it's pretty simple for this system. Just push them together here. And push this one together. Okay. And just extend them out. And just squish them like that. Just keep squishing them. Cushion gets in the way sometimes, so you gotta may have to extend it and push it in more. Okay. Once that's done, you may have to start these. Keep 
pushing them in until they're flush. There we go. Okay. Well, you can tell they're not going to come out there. So go ahead and take these out. Push that in flush. And now we can put the bar on. Okay, well, that's not going anywhere. Put these covers on. They should just snap into place here. And if you want a little bit of more weatherproofing or to keep the water out, you can put a bead of caulking right around here. Okay, now I'm going to do the side grab bond. Now this is the 24 inch one and as you can see I have holes here. I'm going to use the top and the bottom. And on this side I'm going to use the top and the bottom. And above the window I went ahead and checked for studs and there's none in the path of those two. Now it could be different just because you do have a window here. So there may be a different stud pattern below the window. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pretend like there is a stud here and here. So I'm going to drill small holes, or at least one small hole on each side and check to see if there's a stud in the way. So I went ahead and drilled through the rest of the way and you can tell that there's nothing behind it so there's no stud there. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in this location. And we'll go ahead and level this the best we can.
that's done. Clean it up. Now, depending on whether the person is standing or sitting in the shower will depend on the height of your grab bar. You want it a little bit higher if they're going to be standing. You want it a little bit lower if they're going to be sitting. And depending on how they're sitting, you can have it angled like this or angled like that. It's just a matter of personal preference. So we'll go ahead and get these installed. in. You can try to push them in the rest of the way. That's what I do. Get these started. Okay, they're starting. Go ahead and push them in. stood behind there. So we'll go ahead and use the three-quarter hole saw and we'll use the wingets. Okay, pushed off my end. I'm going to take these out. Push them on this side. And the other side, we do the same thing. I'm going to take these out. Caps on. Okay, it's so snapped on. It's really firm, it's not going to move. Right now, that one's not going to move. 
Now if you want you can put some silicone around these edges, around this edge here and around this cover plate too you can put a little bit of a silicone, just a bead of silicone just to get a little bit more waterproofing or water tightness. Well if you have any questions or comments uh, just let me know and thanks for watching and good luck on your next Homer Automotive project.